put it, they would scrape together and then pound into that kapa cloth oh, with the traditional uh -huh. Hawaiian fabric. They dye with the plant dyes. Mm. This is the plant. Wow. Mm. Can you see how the vascular system of the leaves and how it's red? Mm -hmm. You know, in herbology, that would help to signify blood, blood systems yeah. too in a plant. Mm -hmm. You actually can't eat the leaves raw or cooked. Huh. I had a woman tell me she had them all chopped up in a risotto dish and it was excellent. So I have taken wow. the fresh leaves home to chop up and include in cooking. It can very much remind me of chard. Mm. Here at Mountain Thunder, they choose to dry their leaves to make tea. Mm. The locals call it the red tea because it stains the water a beautiful color of mm. red. Huh? And the tea's actually proven to have quite a bit of benefit. It's known to cleanse the toxins from the blood and helps to relieve any generalized weakness. So the Hawaiians always gave it to the weak, the sick, the expecting moms, and they would actually give it to women throughout childbirth to keep them strong through labor. It's actually known to reduce the cholesterol levels, and it's found to be beneficial to diabetics, too. It really helps to regulate the high blood pressure of diabetics. And I have to say, I'm somewhat amused by that fact, because that's a common ailment in the Hawaiian population, and this is a native Hawaiian plant. And it's beneficial and comforting <coughs> to the liver, stomach, intestinal, colon, bladder, and prostate health. And the best part yet, the longer I brew it, the sweeter it gets. Uh -huh. Now, if you're a tea drinker, you know most things don't ever get better. They get uh -huh. bitter. Right. Right. I can literally leave the leaves in the tea water overnight, and it becomes burgundy and sweet. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, this oh, plant only grows good. wild above 2,500 feet. We don't have it on our other farms. Wow. Up here at 3,200 feet, we're actually blessed with an abundance. Mm. So we've reserved parts of this higher acreage to be left wild so we can pick and dry the leaves, so we can share with everybody this tea and a loose leaf or a green tea blend under our label. Wow. I have to tell you, where I come from, nettles wouldn't get any taller than myself. I was all over this hillside looking for this plant. And then Brooke came out and went, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> so if the weather's not bad, I like to show off. Can you see how the nodes, there are these little flowers, little pink flowers. I harvested some seeds and started the plants inside. And the boys are so nice as to put my seedlings in a pot, four of them in one pot. That was about a year ago. Look how big that tree wants wow. to be. How do you think my seedlings think about four of them in a pot? Not as What's the name of the plant again? Mamaki. 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 It's like the Hawaiian the nettle. It's the only member from the nettle family that doesn't have the stingers. Do you know the Latin name? Not off the top of my head.